Alrighty, so I'm going to be showing you how to install plugins for LSPDFR. So the first thing I would do is make sure you have RedRar installed, of course. You're going to need that for anything, the mod, GTA 5, LSPDFR, whatever. So let's start by going to the first link in the description. It'll bring you to the LSPDFR mod link uh, page, I mean. And of course, there's vehicle mods, everything else, but you want to be in scripts and plugins. I'm just going to show you a simple, a couple about, I'll show you three. We'll do the call out. So we'll do, um, we'll do this emergency one, animations and trunk control. So this is, um, just go and search for this page and download whatever plugins you want. There's a bunch of them. The only thing I would recommend is going to the top right here. Minimum LSPDFR version. Make sure you pick the latest version right there. But once you're done downloading, which I'm going to go ahead and download these files real quick. Make sure uh, you read the requirements, of course. Most of the time they'll come with requirements. But if you watch my first video, how to install LSPDFR, which I would recommend. I already showed you how to install this. So we're going to go ahead and download this also main files so once it's downloaded just go to your downloads folder you will see them all in there whatever you you downloaded i'm just going to show you three so you get a good idea how to do it like i said make sure you have run run installed but the next thing you need to do is locate your gta 5 directory which i will put a i will put in the description where your gta 5 might be located one way would be if you watch my LSPDFR how to install video, uh, I showed you how to make a shortcut from your directory to your desktop of Rage. So just right click that and hit open file location. Now bring you to your directory. So that's one simple way you can do it. Or if you can't find it, just comment. I'll try to help you. But once you're in here, your directory, just go back to your download folder. We're going to start with the call out so you can go in whatever order you want you can follow the order that is downloaded whatever it doesn't matter but we're going to just start with uh, at the top so emergency call outs double click it open it and you can see that it says plugins and lspfr you want to stop right there as soon as you see those folders just stop highlight them both drag and drop right into your directory Make sure you don't have this highlighted, any folders highlighted, just right onto the side. And you can see once it's copied over that those folders in your directory are going to be highlighted. That means it worked. So if we go into plugins in your directory, LSPDFR, you can see that it is in there. So next one, we're going to do the animations, open it. Same thing, you got these two. Copy those, not copy, select them, and put them into your directory. If it asks you to replace, go ahead and replace. All right, now we're going to do this last one, trunk control. Uh, this one is a little bit different. Different, uh, they had documentation. You can read these if you want or read the readme. But just go to installation files and you can see the plugins folder right there. Now, if you watched my first video, you uh, already have this Rage native UI. Don't worry about dragging that in there then, because this will, might be outdated. So do not, if you already have it, do not drag that in. So if you already have it, just select the plugins and drag to your directory. And that's it. If you don't have it, I would just recommend watching the first video and watch that part so you can get the latest version of Rage. Uh, native UI and just drag them into your directory. So that's the basic steps how to install plugins for LSPDFR. I will be showing you how to install everything else you can think of. So stay tuned for the series that I'm doing. And like always, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Remember to like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you next time.